Just uh, want to ask you, um, is there any change in policy or new targets for allowing immigrants to Canada for this year? Usually about 300,000, right? Is it? Well, or a bit more? I will be introducing yeah. Yeah. my levels plan on behalf okay. of the government in the uh, not too distant future. Okay. Yeah. Um, and in 2019, we landed 341,000 new immigrants to Canada. Right. Uh -huh. uh, that is a record year for us. Yeah. Uh, th those immigrants are, are coming and uh -huh. contributing. Right. The majority uh, of the people that were landed last year are coming under the economic mm -hmm. um, class, yeah. which means that they are skilled, uh, they bring their trades, their professional experience, right. Right. and then they're in the workforce. Yeah, about 190 or 200,000. Yeah, about yeah. Yeah, yeah. almost 200,000. 200, so yeah. almost 60%, right. uh, which is a, a significant uh -huh. uh, portion of right. the overall levels mm -hmm. plan for 2019. We have another category of immigrants uh, who are members of the family who wish to be right, reunited right. with mm -hmm. uh, permanent residents or citizens who already live here. And then, of course, Canada's work in the humanitarian mm -hmm. sphere around resettling refugees. And, refugees and I think and we should continue to be very refugees. proud uh -huh. of the work that we've done. You know, Canada has always stepped mm -hmm. up when the world is called yeah. uh, in a compassionate mm -hmm. way. And that's not just government, that's ordinary Canadians from coast to coast mm -hmm. to coast who have uh, sponsored refugees to Our come. Our readers um, um, asked us about um, the P, uh, PGP. PGP, PGP, Parents PGP, and Grandparents uh, Program. Yeah, Parents and Grandparents Program. And uh, I know uh, there was an announcement that uh, the old program, like with the software, like we register online, was uh, overwhelmed. And uh, you, you will launch a new program also? I can speak publicly about mm -hmm. the actual precise numbers. I do have to put the Go plan the into uh, the yeah. House mm -hmm. of Commons mm -hmm. and then inform uh, the House that will be unveiling it. And then I'm happy to come back and I will be coming back to British yeah. Columbia and I will uh -huh. take all of your questions on it. How about the, the time? Like the, like the timeline? Yeah. Yeah. Everybody waiting for the reopening. Program. You talking about PGP, PGP about parents yeah. and grandparents? Yeah, yeah I, I mean, again, I think without um, you know identifying a specific mm -hmm. date, I would say we, we hope to have it within the next four to six weeks in that range. Okay. 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 I see. Okay. And uh, regarding the kind of the PGP system, uh, is there will be a big change about it? Because we used the lottery system before mm -hmm. and then go to the con sort of the first conference serve. Is it going to be a kind of mix of what we talked about? Well, I'm just, uh, look, I, again, I think we're in the process of reflecting on the various um, advantages and disadvantages of going with different uh, models of intake. And uh, when we relaunch, we'll be in a position to explain which system we're going with. But again, I don't want to get ahead of our, ourselves that we still haven't uh, come to final ground on that. Okay. Yeah, so... Um, as you might know, is uh, in Richmond Hospital, 23% of the newborn are uh, from non-residents, so that's about one in four, and uh, create a lot of uh, pressure on the healthcare systems. And um, I f remember you said, well, it's important to crack down on who violate the system rather than uh, changing the system, right? So you want to? Well, that's my view. That? Yeah. I, I, mm -hmm. I, I firmly believe that the birth on soil principle yeah. is well established. It ensures that a Canadian is a Canadian is a Canadian and right. that we don't start to create different tiers or mm -hmm. levels of citizenship because that can lead to all sorts of things that no one ever uh, intended. And instead, we need to take a look at the ways in which that principle is being abused. And we know that immigration consultants mm -hmm. do provide information and they help uh, aspiring Canadians navigate their way through the system. Uh, but there are some dishonest uh, mm -hmm. people out there who are looking to take advantage of the system, who are looking to uh, find ways uh, around the rules, and uh, I think that's wrong. I think that's unfair, and I think we should uh, find mm -hmm. a way to enforce the law. And as somebody who worked uh, in the criminal justice system as a federal prosecutor, mm -hmm. uh, I believe firmly that we need to invest the types of initiatives and resources to ensure that people remain confident that we've got a border and an immigration system that works, and that's my commitment.